blinded by a stroke, regained vision. It helped me a lot because when I first come in, I couldn't see anything. But now I can see. For anyone to get any vision back after 29 hours of a blood clot in the eye is unheard of by any treatment mechanism. A Wisconsin family who says their son, born with cerebral palsy, regained functioning and speech. Just coming down here, it's, it's worth it just to be able to go out as a family and do stuff somewhat normal. You do anything for your child, and that's what it comes down to. It's like I brought down a little baby and took home a little boy. <laughs> you know, I mean, I can take him places now. He likes to go places before he never wanted to get out of the house. This family from Alabama claims their brain-damaged son, prone to violent outbursts, got calmer, could understand more, even play games. Home videos of other children over the years reportedly showed them walking for the first time. Improvements parents and doctors never thought possible. I, it's changed my life. I, I can't help but be excited about it. I, when you see these patients improve, it is so real. Can we take a look at you in some other way? Let's see if you'll grab my fingers. They were all patients of emergency medicine specialist Dr. Paul Harch, director of the LSU Health Sciences Center's Hyperbaric Medicine Fellowship Program. He heals scuba divers with the men's, diabetics with wounds that won't heal, and people with skin grafts. In these hyperbaric oxygen tanks, high pressure oxygen is pumped into the body and blood, giving the patient 10, 15, even 20 times the amount of normal oxygen levels. Those treatments are proven to work, but over the years, Dr. Harch says these tanks seem to be healing even more. A man in New Mexico was on the liver transplant list for liver failure and was treated and he was no longer uh, a liver transplant candidate. Doctors have known for a long time that treatments in these chambers can heal certain parts of the body. But what has made Dr. Harch controversial is his belief that the brain could be treated too, including autism, learning disabilities, strokes, brain damage from radiation treatments, Alzheimer's, alcoholism, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, Lou Gehrig's disease, dementia, lupus, fibromyalgia, chronic pain, heart disease, erectile dysfunction, asthma. Dr. Hart says patients from around the world also made glowing endorsements. People were claiming that it could improve hair growth, it could treat impotence, it could uh, treat cancer, uh, and a variety of other things. And the problem was the hyperbaric physicians didn't understand scientifically how this could work and so couldn't defend it. When Dr. Harch was in medical school, the doctors didn't believe that hyperbarics could work. And there are still some neurobiologists and neurologists who don't believe there's enough science to support it. That's why he wrote a book to the public, because he believes there is enough science out there that proves that it works, and so he wants people to start knowing about it. In fact, he has gone to the military and offered to treat some of the soldiers coming back from Afghanistan and Iraq free to show them how well it works on traumatic brain injury. This is non-invasive, don't have to open up. Dr. Harch is in Washington, D.C. this week talking to lawmakers about funding in the new budget for a multi-site study near VA medical centers with LSU Health Sciences Center here in New Orleans as the primary site so he can treat soldiers' brain injury with hyperbarics while gathering scientific evidence. Some veterans groups are behind him. Make the necessary appropriation for a pilot project that will treat traumatic brain injuries in a little different manner. Dr. Harch says in the hands of a professional, daily controlled and specific doses of this high pressure oxygen act like a healing drug, stimulating stem cells to repair tissue with few side effects. And some local experts at the LSU Neuroscience Center agree pointing out that emerging published scientific studies from around the world are beginning to back his observations in people and animal research where for the first time memory loss was reversed. It's science that is still emerging, but Dr. Harch says he will continue to use it now. If a relative has a stroke, do you insist that they have hyperbaric oxygen after you stabilize them? I have a chamber in my mother's home in Northern California. 
and I'm treating him for that from uh, anesthesia accidents. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. One local neurological expert who did not want to go on camera still believes that this science is unproven and says that patients should use conventional treatments for strokes along with oxygen therapy. The treatments can get expensive and only some insurance companies are just beginning to pay for the treating neurological problems.